Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds! Last time we tackled the first dungeon here in Lowrule, known as the Dark Palace. And in this episode, we are going to be making our way to yet another dungeon to rescue another descendant of the Seven Sages. And speaking of which, the one that we rescued here in the Dark Palace was Gully. So, while I'm making my way outside of the stealth maze here and to where we're going to be traveling to the next dungeon, I quickly want to do a little bit of explanation. So, when it comes to Hyrule dungeons, we could have done them in any order that we wanted. I did the Eastern Pet. Well, you can do the House of Gales and Death Mountain in Eddie. Uh, in Eddie? In Eddie order? No, oh, anyway. In any order. Well, I did them how normal players that I've seen do it, and that is House of Gales and then Death Mountain. Well, there really is no set order in order to play um, the low rule dungeons. You can do them in any order you want. Uh, for my sake, I went back and forth about it, actually. There were a couple ways that I was thinking of doing it, and the one that I'm going to actually stick to is that I'm going to do it in the order of rescuing the Descendants of the Seven Sages um, with how we encountered each of the Descendants along our journey. So, Gully is who we rescued here in the Dark Palace. I kind of actually didn't plan to start at, like, this plan just formulated only after we rescued Gully. Because otherwise I was going to do them in the order that suggested on a, on a detailed walkthrough on Zelda Dungeon. Uh, so, I just decided to do it this way. Um, but I'm doing it in the order of when we met these characters. So, Gully was first. It was just a formality, really, because, um, because... Uh, I was there because of the piece of heart from the episode prior, so it just kind of worked out that way. Otherwise, I don't really know how... I, th I really think I would have just done it the way uh, it's listed on Zelda Dungeon, how their walkthrough is listed, but, you know, I think it's a good idea what I'm doing here. So, anyway, enough of my rambling. Uh, let's see. Should we just do it this way? I think... It'll be easier just... Yeah, we're pretty much right here. So, uh, what we wanted to... Oh! Before I forget, where... Where is B-Man? There is B-Man. In between episodes, while I was grinding for more rupees, even though I don't really need it, as you can see on the bottom... That's in my other file. <laughs> I have two files, one for practicing, one for not. That's in my other file, but I caught another golden bee, and uh, hooray. I can't believe I just messed up my files. I, I'm not going to even, future me, don't even try to re-record and pretend anything happened. Just, just let that moment live on in infamy. Anyway, uh, let's go back to low rule behind Sahasrila's house. Oh, that was great. Okay, so... Oh, uh, good lord. Uh, is this the way I wanted to go? Yes, it is, actually. Why did I have to get hit? Would you snaky, ropey enemies get away from me? Anyway, through here we are going to be entering the Skull Woods. The equivalent of the Lost Woods here in Low Rule. Or the Dark World, if you were playing A Link to the Past, you know, you know the drill by now. And speaking of the Skull Woods, I referred to the Lost Woods as such during our time, several times, in the Lost Woods, trying to get the Master Sword. So, welcome everybody to the Lost Woods, here in Low Rule. That did, did the joke work? Did it work? I don't think it did. Anyway... Enough diddly dallying, diddly dallying, di diddly dally. Is that how? Is that what the kids are into these days? Anyway, let's head inside of the next low rule dungeon known as the Skull Woods. And oh, you can see the shadow 
Everyone's favorite is back. The Wall Master. Except this time, your merge ability kind of makes him really useless. It honestly does. Because you can just merge in the wall, and he's helpless. So, take that, Wall Master. You, th these game designers, they really shouldn't have put the merge ability in here, because that just completely ruins the Wall Master. Uh, but anyway. Uh, what? I thought the Master Sword was power powerful enough to take you out. Oh well. Let us step on the switch here at the very end, and I think, th yep, there's a Gibdo. Gibdo, get out of the way. What? How did you- whatever. Let us head in the door. Oh, and now this Gibdo's gonna turn into a stealth! Fa okay. Oh jeez, that was close. Ooh! Also very close, but let us head on out of the dungeon. If the Wall Master grabs you, you are sent back to the beginning of the of the dungeon in the room that you entered. So, you want to be very careful, and speaking of a new room, that's it right over there. We gotta make our way over there. So, one second. Uh, let's see, nothing there. We have full heart, so it's not like it really matters. Let's drop down the hole here. And we're in a new room in the Skull Woods. Yay! And I believe our friend, the Wall Master, is gonna be reappearing in just a second. Well, let's grab these rupees, actually. Wall Master, you gonna show up? I, I guess not. Wall Master down! Anyway, we got a locked key. Uh, a locked key? We got a. We got, we got a small key. Uh, let's see. Get on out of here. Aha! That is- Oh, I see you, friend. That is where we need to go. Down there. Gibdo. Thank you. And let's use our key. Awesome. Excellent. And now we're taken to another exit. Yeah, this is also very similar to the A Link to the Past variant of the Skull Woods. Very, very similar. Uh, there is this here. There's a hole right here. Did it say to drop in the first hole? Oh, well, there's this right here. Uh, I'm gonna drop in this hole right here. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Well, it leads to a silver rupee. All right, I'll take it. Why not? Oh. And that also leads to the compass! Even better. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay, we can just head back down this way. Alright, that's not... Really, you take away my heart? You serious? Let's head back down. Get our heart back, thank you! Now let's make our way back up. Avoid the enemies. Let's see. Is that the only option that we have? Yes, it is. All right. Let us slash away and drop down. And now we're up here, so we have that door there. Oh, that's it. All right. Let's head through the door then. And this leads to... A room right here. Uh, well, the Wall Master can break these tiles, by the way. So, don't have any worries if you don't break them, because the Wall Master can just take care of it for you. Uh, let's. Can we. Yeah, see, Wall Master just hits that. Uh, okay. So, let's hit that. Let's drop this down. Grab that. Like I said, the Wall Master, you can easily avoid him, so definitely use that. Definitely has its advantages. Okay. Let's do this. Drop down. Gibdo! Are you serious? Hit that. Grab a small key. Be able to get back this way. Come on, drop down, Wall Master. There we go. And unlock the door. 
And this leads to this room here. And if we pull this lever down... That platform will lower. So now, let's head there. Oh, it actually leads down the stairs, okay. Now we have this room here. Oh, I know what we need to do. Mini Moldorm, get on out of here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, okay, no, I know what we need to do. Alright. Uno Memento. Wallmaster, you are so annoying. There we go. That's what we needed. Go across using the gargoyles as weight. Oh, no, no. Oh, wow, that actually wouldn't let me stop it. That wouldn't let me stop for some reason. And... We made a staircase where it kind of doesn't even matter. <laughs> Alright then, well, let's head here. Okay. Uh-oh, wh where am I? Uh-oh. What? What did we just do? Where are we? Oh, this is. I thought that wasn't solid ground. I am. I am dumb. I am so dumb. I did not think that was solid ground. Also. Oh, we need you to hit this button. Come on, Wallmaster. Get over here. It's been so long since. Like. I've mentioned many times. It's been three years since I played this game. So. Like, it's... It's a little weird. Oh, and that's a shortcut. Excellent. I'll definitely take that. Oh, but here we have mini-bosses? Oh, okay. Come on, mini-moldorm. Ah, and we need to use the wall master to take out these guys! Very clever game. I see what you're doing. I, I see the engine you're running. Would that even count as a sentence to use? I don't know. But anyway, Wallmaster, Wallmaster, come hither. You have a Gibdo to destroy for me. Thank you. And that's the halfway point, and I could use that heart, but I guess we won't be getting it. All right, through here we go. Oh, and it's another one of these. Okay. Wallmaster. Oh, he actually collected that. I'm... S oh, gee. Aha! This is what we needed to do. We needed to come down and then go here in order to get this. But what's gonna be inside? A small key! Kind of fitting, since that's what we need to actually get on out of this room. Alright, there we go. Any second now. There we go. Alright, let's unlock the door, head on out. Uh-oh. What's in here? Oh, this is the boss door. Okay. Wow, that was a- Oh, hello, Gibdos! That was a long hallway before anything happened. That's it? Just two Gibdos? Okay, I'll take it. Easier for me. Ooh. We have these eye puzzles again. Spherical! Let's head up. Aha! So... We need to put spheres in these 
placements, I see. Okay. Should be easy enough. That's one. There, there's a big chest right there. I could... I could use that. That might have something I'm interested in. Okay. Let's be careful. There's another big chest right there that we could also use. That's a way to get back in. Well, don't mind you. Don't mind don't mind me and I won't mind you. And that's how we get that one there. So we need to actually take cover. Oh, I, I really like that pu I Some of these puzzles I remember and some I don't. Mostly I remember them only if I actually practice, but otherwise. Uh, but anyway. Okay, so there's... There's two different puzzles that we can do. Two different ways we can drop down, I should say. Okay, there's a purple rupee there. So, there's this one right here. And I, yeah, that was the wrong choice. Because what we need to do is we need to get on an upper platform in order to be able to access that big chest, so. And actually, that might actually lead to the eyeball when I think about it. Yeah, that probably leads to the eyeball, this other one over here, so. Let's head over. Ah, oh, you pterodactyl, why you gotta do that to me? Oh wait, there's... There's two? Okay, one second. I'm going down here. That was also very bad. Man! I can never get it right, can I? Oh well. Alright, Gibdo, it's nice seeing you again. Oh, I, I wanted to smash that other skull, but okay, I'll, I'll just head on out. I won't see what's in that one. I'll, I'll just mind my way and drop down this hole here. Wait, what? Wait. Huh? What? Wait. Do I have to glitch Tornado Rod? I could have sworn... I could have sworn one of those dropped down there. Or do I have to keep traveling? Did I miss an area? Oh my god. Is this gonna be the- yes, this is the- oh my god, why, how am I d that dumb? How am I that stupid? <sighs> Get down there. Give me this. Another piece of Master Ore. The blacksmith can use it to improve the Master Sword. Hooray! Hooray for getting Master Ore and hooray for me being dumb as a bowl of nails. Okay. Get on out of here. Oh god, why is this so slow? Can we please not? Can we please not? Thank you. Uh, okay. J you can just drop that. Wonder wonderful. Great. So do I need to, like, abandon this thing? Ah, I see. I just needed to toss it over once and then we should be in the clear? Come on. There we go. Okay. Should be fine. 
Merge. Annoying wall master. Head over here. Keys, don't you dare. Toss that aside. And now we have access to the big chest. And it contains the big key. Oh my goodness. That only took about seven million years. Uh, so now we can... Oh, the gate's right here. Head down the stairs for a sec- I should pay attention to my bottom screen. You know, I really should, but... Anyway. Fill me up on hearts, I will take that. And now... It's boss time! I forget this enemy name, so say hello to Mr. Handy Helper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to... Well, I'm not kidding that I forgot his name, but... I'm not kidding in the fact that... To take this boss lightly. He can fire beams and he can charge things. He can punch the wall. What we need to do is when his eye is exposed, we need to slash it as many times as possible and also avoid him smacking the ground below us down so we fall. Just merge in the wall and you should be okay. There we go, he's about to charge up. Punch. All right, there we go. Should only be one more cycle of hits now. Just gotta be careful. Wasn't careful enough because we got hit. We should be okay now though. got hit. We got hit again. It's not good. No, don't fall in the pit, Link. Oh man, this is getting bad. This is getting bad. Oh gee, oh gee, where am I? Oh, well, he's about to punch. Oh no, one more. One more, okay. We got this, we're, we're okay. We're all right, we got some fairies to back it. Oh, we were actually alive, what? Wow, he got it early that time, but with that, what? I thought, okay, I thought he was done. I'm about to be done. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, I fell in the pit. No. Wait. This works out for me. What? No, come on! No, 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 Oh, well, we just died to his massive punch. That wasn't very good. We're okay. Uh, okay, he can just... So, if he actually punches me, he just, like, stops in the middle of it. That's cool. Okay, he can... Okay, he can just hit me again. I think I only have one fairy left. Oh, good lord. Let me check. I have one more fairy left. This is more difficult than I thought it would be.
Oh goodness. Come on! Oh my god, thank you. Wow, wh why was that so difficult? I don't remember this guy being so difficult when I fought him three- Well, that probably explains it. I probably forgot how difficult he was three years ago. And I have no- I have no room to walk. <laughs> I oh, well, I, I get- By the skin of my tinny- uh, Tinny? By the skin of my- <laughs> And it was- I was gonna say teeny teeth- te uh, Whatever the saying is. Heart container, yay! Let me just shut up and let me go through this- let me go to this pit, and then let me go through this door. And this leads to the next descendant of the seven... Are you freaking kidding me? The next descendant of the seven sage... Would you st Go away! The next descendant of the seven sages. I see. My little friend from the sanctuary. You've come to my rescue, have you? Bless your goodness. How strong you must have gotten since then. But it seems you have further yet to go. You must save all seven of the seven sages. Please, I beg of you. Save us all, or peace will never return to Hyrule. And with that, that's gonna do it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Next time, I may take a break from rescuing the Seven Sages, I don't really know. The Skull Woods has my blood pressure a little bit boiled. But with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, lovely Zelda, what is it like to be a princess from a kingdom blessed by so many happy endings? Once upon a time, Lorul was such a place, once, but no longer. Lorul was just like Hyrule, so very beautiful, so very promising. We have need of a hero, and your Link is superb. We all deserve a happy ending, don't we? I can only hope that Link is victorious.